What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. I like Karen S a lot. We're doing another modern cube draft here on Magic Gathering Online. Check out manatraders.com if you want a great subscription service. Uh, you can use the link and promo code down below for 20% off the first three months of any subscription. Also, Euro just got banned. So, like, if you guys don't want to put money into cards on Magic Online, you just want to rent them so you don't have to worry about bannings, it's a great option. <sighs> Bribery? I just, I'm not, I don't think bribery is great in this cube. I think this cube is mostly defined by Planeswalkers and there's not big payoff cards. Like, you're not going to get Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, not the Ceaseless Hunger, the, uh, the Infinite Gyro. You're not going to get Emrakul, the Promised, the Aeon's Torn. I kind of like Karanos a lot. I think it's very, very good. I'm pretty sure there's nothing you could do that would get Karanos unbanned. But I might just pick this anyway because I really like it. I think Karen... Oh, oh, man. How about how about in tribute to our fallen brethren we take a Euro? I, like I've said previously, this I think this cube is all about uh, hard to deal with permanents that provide card advantage, like Planeswalkers, Euro. Sulphur Falls is nice. Golos is decent. Courser's good. Joel Royale is decent if we go into like Euro or Karanos. This lets you draw a card, right? Yeah, so it, it does say draw a card. Interesting. I kind of just want to take Sulphur Falls. Buddha style. I'm all right. Hope you're doing as well. I hope you're doing all right as well. Um, I do like a good Thank courser. You. I do want. I do want fixing though. Like I want to make sure we hit, hit our good fixing. I think. I think Golos also be, be pretty good. I. I don't think this Domri is very good. Sammy, I love you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna take the fixing, and we get rewarded with a wooded foothill. I would take Draga Tree Speaker, but I don't think we're a Draga Tree Speaker deck. If that makes sense, Spaghetti Toucher. Thank you so much for the resub, my dude. I appreciate you. Somebody touch my spaghetti. I think an on-color fetch land is probably just too good to pass up. I do like a I do like an acidic slime, and I do like a beanstalk giant. Actually, there's a Karn in here. Who am I kidding? I'm taking this Karn. Golos puts me in this awkward position of having to, like, pick up lands that will, like, fix outside of our colors. Like a black land and a white land. And I think if Golos wheels, I'll 100% take him. But, like, there's sometimes I just don't want to have to deal with all that. And there's sometimes where I'm like, I'll just put Golos on the sideboard because it's just not as good. Does the Beanstalk Giant have magic beans? Kerwit, who can say? Who can say? If I change my username to Big Gulps, huh? Alright, well, see you later. Would you play that sound clip every time I sub? Uh, pretty sure I would, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a sounds like a deal. I'd do that. Ral Zarek's pretty good. Oh, it's not Ral Zarek. It's Ral. Is it Viceroy? Thank you. That was another Bernie Sanders. Brett, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Twenty-seven months, man. God, what a time! What a time to be alive. Put one of them in your hand and the other in your graveyard. What's the damage you go to your thing? Could also just be rampant growth, obviously. I, I mean. I think we want to. I think we're. I think we want ramping growth. Ramping is very important in this cube. Hydroid Crassus is very important in this cube, and I love being able to play it here. I'm taking Hydroid Crassus. I'm gonna make a big fat Hydroid Snake Lizard. Oh jeez, Nemesis reborn, huh? Terror of the Peaks actually seems pretty decent. 
So whenever another creature on this battlefield, this deals damage equal to that creature's power. So if I play like 6-5, it deals Shut 6. Up, I don't know if this money. counts as a creature, to be honest with you. 1, now I'm crying, Buck. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I don't even know if Sammy sent that, to be honest with you. I could have been anybody. I'm going to take Terror of the Peaks. It's also just a big... Oh, Bloodbraid Elf? <gasps> oh, man, this is exciting. What if we take blood... What if we Bloodbraid Elf into a Euro? That sounds... Like compulsive Research? Also sweet. I'm liking the way this deck is looking, dude. Oh, man, the Juriel and the... The Domri came back. I think it's Joriel. Now we have Compulsive and Euro and Karanos. This card's actually pretty decent. Like, we're just going to make two twos. Hmm. We don't actually have any Planeswalkers Thank that we you. care about. Dreadbore is pretty good. I don't want to splash black, though. I'm just going to take the Wrath. Clifftop Retreat. All right, well. Two Exodus. Thank you for the resub. Croxa. That's a late Croxa. That's a Lava Claw Reaches that lets us play that Croxa. All right, well. Okay, so it doesn't enter the battlefield. It's just that it enters an enchantment. You get the point, though. Still pretty good. This will deal six, though, with, an, with the Terror of the Peaks out. That's exciting. I like a Muldrifter. Oracle of Muldaya seems probably better than Muldrifter. Will Oracle, on average, draw more than two cards? Probably. I also think Glorybringer is bananas. I'm going to take Oracle. How do I unsubscribe? <laughs> is this the perfect deck for Mystic Snake, guys? Do we just get to finally play Mystic Snake? I feel like it. I feel the need. The need for Snake. Ooh, Clothis seems great. Wow, I like a Clothis a lot. One unsubscribe, Buck. See, it's interesting because one Relax and Sam had a capital S and one had a lowercase s. It's very interesting. I'm going to take Clothis here. I think Clothis, Euro, and Karanos are real solid here. Chandra's fine. I don't know if she's... I don't... I'm not... Eh. I think I'd rather just have Reflecting Pool. Because we don't have a ton of fixing just yet. We have Sulphur and Wooded Foothills. We don't actually even have a thing to fetch yet. Yeah, Buddhistan knows what's up. Ooh, I like Electrolyze. I also like Rada. I like Condescend. I mean, Electrolyze just seems juicy, right? I don't think we're a counterspell deck. We also don't have a ton of removal. But then Rod is a great hit off of Bloodbraid Elf, too, so. But Electrolyze is a great follow-up to Joel Real, which lets us draw a card. What are you doing? I'm going to take Electrolyze. Every single day. Hey, guys, if you guys wonder if I still had Huey Lewis in the news stuck in my head. I do. Give it up. Ooh, ah, ooh. I don't like this Sahili at all. I don't think she does anything. <laughs> yeah, make a one one. Okay, cool. Your artifacts become copies of other things. Like, there's no artifacts in this cube. What are you talking about? This is a really weird pick. Kiki Jiki is a thing, and we could like wheel a Splinter Twin or something. Mass Manip is a little expensive. Yeah, we'll just take Kiki Jiki, right? Like, copying a Terror of the Peaks seems pretty nuts. Wait, copying a Terror of the Peaks? If you copy a Terror of the Peaks, it deals five. And then if you play another creature after that, they both shoot. Mm, dissolve. Mm, expansion explosion. 
Uh, you can't copy your own, fortunately. It is a legendary creature. And Kikijiki does not like that. Beast Within's fine, I guess. It does deal with Planeswalkers. I like Dissolve. I do like Dissolve better. Uh, Polukronos is a big fat idiot. Oh my god, Glormir came back? That's exciting. Also Duplicant, but I feel like Glormir is way more on plan with us. We're also heavy red here, so... I think we're heavy red blue. We're kind of splashing the green. Ancient Grudge? Or Shield Breaker? Two artifact removal? I think it's just the one artifact removal on the guy. If Huey Lewis fell into a vat of radioactive material and gained the ability to grow in size, would he be Yuji Lewis? Chris, that's up to him. You know, I really can't. I can't. I can't ascribe his name to him, you know? Like, that's... A lot of white fixing, not a lot of teamer fixing. <gasps> Whoa! I was really hoping that would come back. <laughs> that would definitely be news. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys. Hunter's having a good time. Is that too small? That's probably correct, right? Right there? Okay. Whatever. Oh yeah, Mystic Snake on board with Kiki Jiki. That's that's pretty good. We are bound. I just typed the whole thing and it's gone now. I don't even know where it went. I think we have to take Stomping Ground. I think it's also a fine pick in this pack. We're not a Crater Hoof deck. I would love Sublime Epiphany to come back. Or Phantasmal Image. Or Fumarol, but... Having something to get with Wooded Foothills and having some on-color fixing is really... Where you want to be. I think it's just Farseek, yeah. I mean, I'm looking at this back and I'm like, eh, it's just Farseek, right? <laughs> I'm so happy to be stuck with you. Oh man, guys, my favorite. My absolute favorite. But we're taking Rattleclaw Mystic because it's just the perfect card for this deck. Like, we have a bunch of fives and fours. We definitely want to ramp into four, which would be great. We also have a bunch of threes, though, which is fine. Have we already discussed the, the Walking Dead Secret Lair that is an actual, factual, terrible idea? I think it's... I don't hate it. Is it really your favorite? I mean, I love Dream Trawler. It's my favorite to play, and my least favorite to play against. We've had our ups and downs. I see. <laughs> big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. Oh, man, thanks so much for saying so. Hey, guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Oh, God. That's amazing. Inferno Titan's very good. I was looking at Huntmaster. I'm like, ooh, Huntmaster's cool. Huntmaster or Sinkhole might come back, and they could be very good additions. I really want, like, two more fixing lands for this deck. Oh, my God. If you have Terror of the Peaks and you play Inferno Titan, holy God. 
I cannot confirm or deny that I have I have multiboxing your I have multiboxing your stream. That doesn't even make sense. I don't even think you know what you're saying right now. Thank you. God, it's Chris's first day of vacation and he's already drunk. Like a raging ravine. A raging ravine is the perfect fixing land that we're looking for. Check two. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back. I appreciate you. Check two. Is there any card that is both fun to play with and against? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. I bet there is. I can't think of it. So, thoughts on how the ban is going to do nothing to fix the problem because they're still selling Zen packs and not going to ban those? Yeah, that's my that was my opinion. I woke up and it was like Euro and I'm like, what? What? I think Gem Razor is fine. It's a 4 4 for 4. It has Reach, it has Trample, and then we can destroy an enchantment. Immortal Sun could have been good too. Why didn't I take the Immortal Sun there? I have no Planeswalkers. I'm a dumb shit. That's terrible. That's terrible. Lots of teamer cards in this pack, though. Copperline Gorge just might be the pick. And we just like play a bunch of islands. I don't love that. Tatiova's pretty sweet. I think it's Copperline Gorge. I think we have a, a ton of playables here. And we might get some more back. Eh, Fork Bolt is fine in the side. Bizzle. Perforos. Eh, let's take Spellskite. Gen Flame Spills. Kills a thing. Wow. These people have no respect. It's super weird. I'm not giving someone this. Oh, Huntmaster came back. Yeah, that's exciting. Rekindled Phoenix was also a card I was hoping for. Oh, man, that's exciting. Oh, geez. Now I need to figure out the things. I think Phoenix is probably better than Gem Razor. Not terrible, but probably not playing a triple triple green card. This deck is missing a three mana planeswalker. I agree, I would have loved to pick up an Oko. Unforgiving with the bits. I appreciate you, buddy. With the bits. Okay, we need two cuts. I like all of these. Like, Kiki Jiki on so many of our cards is really good. On Huntmaster, Inferno Titan, Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, a lot of our cards are legendary as well, though. It's got a Glorybringer. It's got a Terror of the Peaks. No, it doesn't really work with Bloodbraid. Did I say Bloodbraid? I probably said Bloodbraid and I didn't mean Bloodbraid. I think Kiki's probably one of the weaker links. Like, it's not a combo with anything, it's just a dude. Cut Euro for Solidarity. I agree with Dissolve. I agree with Kiki Jiki. 
Terror of the Peeps. I love Peeps. This is actually a good. This is a good twenty-three here, right? Is Flame Spill better than Incinerate or Roast? Any target? That's a creature. This is also a creature. Our fixing's good. We just don't have that much blue. I kind of want to take Mystic Snake out, to be honest. If we're taking... Like, we don't have any other double blue cards, and I think that's better for our mana base. Whereas, like, I think we can just add in, like, a Flame Spill or something. We still have 15 creatures. I really wish this Wooded Foothills had a way to get blue. I don't think we saw... I don't think we saw either a... Uh breeding pool or a steam vents so I can't really get upset Farsi gets an island rampant growth gets an island like so this is blue 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 Meh. is gem razor better than Pelucranos? I mean probably that versatility is nice we don't actually have a way to do that in the main deck so That's funny. I love both Peeps and Candy Corn, so. Actually, we don't actually have that much blue. We have one, two, three. We have five blue cards. That's actually pretty good. So this is three, four, five, assuming that this is a thing, plus all the other sources. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, ten, three, four, five. Shut up and take my money. I think that's fine. I tried to get MTG Goldfish to raid you earlier, but oh, they I mean they do they have before. I pre Arsenic Wolf, I appreciate you, my dude. I wanna cut another red for a blue, so it's nine nine like six. All right, this deck looks sweet. That's true. It is only it is only ever second blue. That's that's a good point. It's the same old uh, This hand's not great. It has all the colors, though, and we have a ton of two and three drops to hit, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Okay, I like that. Oh, look at this little guy. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is fine. This is actually good. I'm okay with this. We don't have to discard anything here. Um, obviously a land. Green, green. Ah. It's really hard to say. I guess the green is fine. I mean, next turn we get to go Blood Braid, and ideally, if we hit a land, we get to go into one of these guys. If not, we just have like three plays. So, hold on, just have to. We're gonna have to use a crying emoji. Okay. No blocks. Phoenix is actually pretty good too. Oh, that's a good hit. Jeez. Wow, Clothis is a great hit. There's lands and spells in graveyards right now. Next time we just get to untap and play Larber. 
That's nice. Okay, well, that's rude, but all right. I mean, getting to a turn is pretty decent. Do you play Terror first? I, I agree with Cloth this being one of the best cards in the cube. I, I agree with that completely. It is a card that sits there and, 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 mil and drains for four every single turn. I mean, I'm hoping they don't have another answer to this is really what it comes down to. If they don't have an answer to this, I think it's real bad for them. Uh, not blocking this, because then they just shoot it. <laughs> I'll just take my three and then gain two more in my turn, so that's totally fine. Oh yeah, this is going to be a... This is going to be a turn. Oh wow, Huntmaster kills two things. Like, this guy can just sack to kill Huntmaster, so I'm not going to, like, kill this, and then they respond and kill something else, so. Yep, see, now they're just going to lose their whole board. Which is fine. I accept that. And now we still have Clothis on board with, a like, Terror of the Peaks. Glorybringer just deals 8 next turn? Jesus. Like, even Inferno Titan doesn't save you. <laughs> they still take 3. It's pretty decent. Okay, kill this, attack for three. I think, are they like still dead? This is seven, right? Four and three. One, two, three, four, five. So we'd have six though. So I'm just gonna nug them. They're just dead. Are they? Oh, I thought they conceded. Okay. Hmm. I mean, like, they can't deal with this in their red-green deck, I don't think. And, and no, like, no decks can deal with this. It's ridiculous. Okay, some decks can, but it's a hard card to deal with in the cube. And it usually deals, like, six to eight points of damage before that happens. Every single day. What do we see? We saw, like, three two twos, three two toughness creatures. I think Forkbolt's probably pretty fine here. Oh, excuse me. Hiccup City. Gem Razor can go for Pelucranos. That guy just seems... Pelucranos might just be better than the main deck. But Gem Razor does make things like Joreal or Rattleclaw Mystic better threats. We also have Electrolyze. Maybe we don't need Fork Bolt. It does kill things. <laughs> Spell Sky seems alright. Like, I mean... Yeah, I'll keep this. This is pretty good. What up, always on top? Yeah, this is good. How about giving up? Let's get an island, guys. Oh, they're going to draw a card in response? Okay. Sounds good. Still don't have... We have two removal spells, so if they play something here, we can just kill it. Unless it goes to... No, we still have roast. That's fine. Don't about giving up. Relax, Bone. 
Take it easy. Okay, so you have a forest in hand. Got it. Hmm. You got Gruel, uh. Gruely Boy? They did not. No one does. It's not a thing. Oh, that guy's dead too. All their creatures are dead. It's wonderful. Arctic is real sweet. We get to Glorybringer this and then, like, Inferno Titan, whatever they have next. It's the same. Old. Have you ever discussed your thoughts on the, the secret layer? No, not yet. Is it only the two cards? Is it only like Negan and, and Michonne? Those are the only two I've seen. Jesus. Look at our hands still. It's unreal, dude. This is this is wonderful. And the walker token. Okay, so it's like three cards. That's weird. I would have expected more. Oh, you're killing my Glorybringer. That's two for one? You're two for one to kill my Glorybringer? While well, I still have Inferno Titan on the board. Okie dokie. Well. We'll just mull drifter. Yeah, I don't know how they. Yeah, this deck is insane. I mean, it's it was good in that match. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's uniformly insane. Uh, Snapkeep. So this is a turn two far seek into a turn three Euro and ideally hitting other land. And now they can go be with their family faster. <laughs> yeah. Let's give me that island. Oh yeah. So Euro into land land. That would be pretty good. Okay, we're doing it. Could have also played Oracle of Moldai here. But if they want to make a, a zombie, that's totally fine. Okay. I was like, is it going to be a synergistic card? It was not. So in a perfect world, we can go three, four, Oracle, land, land, incinerate. Okay. I'm just going to roast this guy. Roasted. Can you imagine if we had two lands on the top of our deck? Do they activate me to vault and draw a card? That's pretty good if they do that. Spell pierce. Okay. I would have 100% drew a card there instead of making a making a guy. Hmm. 
Now they're drawing cards. Sure. Well. Oh, Clothis we get to draw? No lands, though. We could Crassus for draw two, which actually seems pretty decent here. We could also go Clothis Flame Spill, which I think is also pretty good. We really want to get rid of this guy. We could also play this for one, like make it a 3-3, three, three, hope to hit two lands, and then play one of the other two cards. I mean, I think that's pretty greedy, though. I mean, Clothis gives us an extra mana, too, so if we hit... Yeah, no blocks. Pack Rataru. Okay. Uh, sure. Um, oh, we're in combat now. They did not let us play the land off the top. Um, actually, maybe we should have got mana so that we can go Rada and Euro. But Euro could still draw us a card, right? Main one, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, we're going to draw the forest, so that actually works fine. Ooh, Keranos. Oh my god, phone, take it easy. They didn't do anything. Wow. Um, Yeah, I'm actually going to do this because with the two gods, I feel like we're very close to, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What is this they're doing? Sure. Pitch that rat. Oh, this is a great block for us. Oh no. Oh, that's a great, that's a fantastic block. She has first strike. Sure.
that's fine. So, one, two, three, four, five. We can play Karanos and then just keep Hydra and Krasis, which I think is probably correct. Because we're going to draw another card next turn. We can make a 7 7 2. I just want Karanos out. I think Karanos, I think these two combined are going to get the job done much quicker. So yeah, I think they could have made the um, the Walking Dead card Silver Border for sure. Like that would have been a uh, an option. the The thing is, like, I, they're not going to be so high demand than like Legacy and Vintage and, and Commander that people are going to be like, "Well, I can't, I just can't get them. They're so expensive." You know, like it's just not a thing. Oh, we should get Scrounger, <laughs> literal card in the graveyard that actually does something. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to ten mana. This is probably going to hit a removal. Oh, okay. Discard two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, Karn and... Actually, we'll get rid of Gem... Yeah, we'll get rid of Karn and Gem Razor. That's fine. This is the game, right? <laughs> Cloth, this is active. We get to kill this. How much are we attacking for here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Karanos would have also been online. What is this? Six, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is 20 damage. Seems good. I kind of want Storm's Wrath. We don't have had we don't have a ton of creatures that get that get hit by it. Card's good. Um, just I think we just add it and don't worry about it. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand seems great. Thank you. I didn't notice you took the trawler again. Yeah, that was a funsies trawler. It was like it tabled, and I was like. Oh, Llama Goyf, thank you so much for the, re for the sub, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Llama, Llama Gave? I like that even better. That's hilarious. I mean, we get to go Clothis into Karanos. That seems really good. Uh, I'll get rid of this guy. Still get to go Clothis here. If we decide to do so. So... Is this what is this? Otherwise, you gain two and deals two damage to each opponent. We can't redirect. I kind of just want to shoot the lily here. Yeah, I think we just get rid of Liliana. Oh, that's that's a that's a guy. That's a guy. That's a guy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a beautiful hit. Especially when I can cast it in like two turns with their delta. It's me, Lamagoy, finally back, and now I'm under this name and stuff. I've only got a Lamagoy, good to see you, buddy. I'm gonna still call you Lamagoy. 
That's hilarious. I had a feeling it was you. I thought it was you. That's his oracle, huh? Okay. Storm's Wrath. This is a good Storm's Wrath turn as well. When you get this at the beginning of your of your main phase, so you actually know what you're getting. Oh man, Storm's Wrath on time. Dang it. And we're just gonna play Karanos here, right? This is their graveyard, right? From your graveyard, okay. Yeah, you're a lily. Taking six. Flame spill, no red. Okay. Unlike Thief of Sanity, Nightfell Spectre does require you to have the colored the color requirements. Oh Jesus. Whew. Um, definitely killing you. And then we're gonna exile you. Oh boy. Um, one, two, Jolie, one, two, three, f let's make a green, hunty boy, okay, so next turn if we draw an extra card from a land, we still get to trigger this, make a cat, and we at least have decent blocks here, inverter of truth, oh goodness gracious, oh the bad things are happening, Oh, they did not activate it, though. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take three. That's a, that's a yikes for me, dog. Yep, two lands is pretty bad. All right. Now we're going to exile this guy so that you don't actually get to... Six to use. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy flips but can't kill anything, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have, we're one shy on the devotion here. That's pretty sad. Man, I feel like a spell here would have been good. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost they have to attack with this cat. They take seven. But then we have terrible blocks is the problem, so. So it's a two two. Yeah, we'll just shoot this. In case we choose to block with something. Death Touch is pretty brutal. This is... Is this... All our guys become 7-7s? Seven seven's? That's pretty good. Wait, number of cards in your hand? Oh, that's worse. That's worse. I thought it was I thought it was lands. Dang it, I'm thinking of the stupid other card. I'm thinking of the other legendary green creature that's in our deck. Dang it. Alright, that's worse. Nice. That seems fine. Hmm. This should actually turn on some of our guys as well. 
Is this four or five, six, seven, eight? They put them to three. One, two. Oh, this. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why isn't this turned on? Is this because of this guy's stupid power? That's stupid. I thought they changed that. So we're going to have one, two. So this guy will be on next turn. And we did cast two spells, so we are making a... I guess we're just attacking with this guy. Alright, well, he does get to flip, so that's something, I guess. Clothis comes on, perhaps? Okay, we did it. Oh, it's old wormy boy. This feels correct, right? Trade a wolf for a for a worm coil. Sure. Yeah, Clovis and Karanos are just like B A N A N A S. Oh yeah, champ wait, they're just gonna discard. They're just playing champion to just straight up discard too. Um shoot the death toucher. Clothis, the worm coil. We do not play any spells this turn. We're not going to draw any cards, unfortunately. So I think we're just going to far seek. Last possible target. I mean, this guy's pretty good. Or this guy, rather. This guy's just fine. This guy doesn't get through, unfortunately. I think we're just passing here. Oh, we should have let this guy flip, right? That would have been good. <laughs> no one is disagreeing with you, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just take two. I, I don't want this guy in their graveyard. I think their last card is a land in hand. Yeah, okay. Yep, now he gets the flip anyway, so... Yeah, we can get rid of him now because he's a blocker. Or he's, he's whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> oh, Inferno Titan's a hell of a drug. Oh, boy. Yikes. Well, I still can't get through this guy, so I'm just going to pass here. Close also being able to just exile relevant cards from the graveyard. Like when they have when they have Inverter and Ice Wrath, I can get rid of Inverter, so they can't actually bring this guy back to combo with the Thassa's Oracle. When they have Champion of Wits in the graveyard, you can just eat that thing, you know? Like it's actually just insane. This has been a hell of a draft. Every single day.
Uh, Jaber has more than an 18 trophy lead. I have two. He has 33. He has a 31 trophy lead. Oh, 18 trophy lead from the next person. Yeah, I get you. I thought you meant for me. I was like, mm, no. Oh, no. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Oh, Jaber, what up, my dude? <laughs> dude, good seeing you. This is easily one of my favorite decks. I'm gonna ship this. I like all these other cards, and I think that they're... I think we can hit one land. Oh, what up, Iced Mocha? We had our ups and downs. Feeling like a blood bread elf. Ooh, oh. oh, that's very good. Uh, <sighs> I'm going to land it here. I'm going to be super greedy because we have Electrolyze. And we could hit another land. Any other land is just like bananas for us. There's no two cards I want to give up in this hand. The greed is so absolutely real. You know what? Thank you. Close enough. They have triple green. Then they haven't played anything. So I'm not like feeling the pressure here. Um, let's get another mountain. One of the best cube channels I watch, and it helps me to get better. <laughs> get out of here. You get out of here. And Rylos, thank you for the resub. Welcome back, my dude. I appreciate you. I have I have to get this Huey Lewis, the new song stuck in my song stuck in song that's stuck in my head out of my head. Good grief. Okay, well, now we're just gonna. So they're drawing Cultivate. I'm typing it, even though they're probably just going to play it. <laughs> oh, man. Happy six months, Frank, for you and all your content that helps me keep my sanity. <laughs> I woke up this morning, rolled over, grabbed my phone, and was browsing Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, you know, the normal morning routine. Okay, so then what did they get? Okay, so they're just playing Mono Green. I'm able to play both. Okay. Uh, as I was doing this, behind my phone, probably a foot and a half away, a quarter-sized spider crawled up the wall next to my bed. Should I burn my apartment building down? No. Most spiders are friends, and they don't actually care about you. They just wanna, they just wanna be in your warmth, in your warming, loving embrace. And that's okay. Come on, one time, two lands on the top, two lands on... It's not even one land on the top. They should be less creepy then. Maybe that's true. Yeah, give them a warm, loving embrace. Thank you. I don't know if... I don't know if Glorybringer is the pick if you got a dismember, man. Fancy art! Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Guys, there's only two more days left in September. If you want to help me out with subs or, or support donations, <laughs> this is me. Once again, asking for your help. I was once made by a spider, and now I can spin webs from our... That's a... That's a lie. You're talking about Spider-Man. You can't fool me. I found a large spider living by the door of my house behind the cabinets. I spent about 10 minutes trying to get it out, then decided he's probably keeping bugs out of the house. Let it, you're like, you know what? Just fucking stay. <laughs> I don't even care. If we can hit two lands, we can play both of these, and that's really all I want. I thought yesterday was Tuesday? Yesterday was Sunday, my dude. What's happening? I don't like anything that's going on right now. 
Okay. Ooh, they didn't play a land yet either. They're gonna have double Nissa this turn? Oh, jeez. I mean, we do get to kill one of them at the very least. Thank you. Okay. All right. Oh, loving it. Land. Dang it, only one land. Okay. Got to figure out what the best course of action is here. Knight of Sticks. Thank you so much for the visa, buddy. Pay that. I'm trying. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, so we can Blood Braid Elf, and we're going to hit Rampant Growth, which is actually kind of unfortunate. But then we could hit another land. And it feels like Blood Braid Elf has to be the play here, right? So one, two, three, four. For Blood Brady Boy. No, oh, it's just a Hydroid Crassus. Oh, but no, it's not. It's going to be something else. Um, red, red, red. Green, green. Let's get another green. Dang it, Huntmaster that smells. <sighs> Electrolyze would have been better, I think. One and like one, and then we can both attack this thing. Jeez. I don't like them untapping with Nissa. It's really bad. Uh, I wish this was a land. How long is you on for cube? Uh, I'll probably do another one after this. Probably around like a bit longer. Why? What you what you want? Like putting her to one just does nothing, and it's so fr it's so infuriating. It's the only card we have to play, so what can we do? Also, using a roast on this stupid elvish mystic is also terrible. Ugh. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, no, sir, I don't like it. One, two, three, four, five. Also, if we play terror into Clothis, though. Uh, we actually get to deal to four, which is pretty cool. Because Clothis will have seven devotion. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, exactly seven, which is pretty good. Oh, good. They're just going to play Wilmog here and kill us. I'm making dinner for my boys, but maybe I'll leave on Yon Mobile. Oh, I'm okay with it. Team Jaybro, like I said before, I appreciated you being uh, hanging out in chat recently. You're a good dude. Okay. So long, Reflecting Pool. I hardly... Oh, Stomping Ground? That's just worse than the Reflecting Pool. Oh, now we need two lands off the top. Cool. Nissi Who Shakes the World is a cool card. Oh, boy. Definitely bring in Storm's Wrath. <laughs> Multiple Planeswalkers. Take out Gem Razor. Kind of just want Mystic Snake here, to be honest. And I think Forked Bolt is probably better than something else, like Roast. Keep. Snap keep. Anyway, I work from home now because of this pandemic, so I'm subbed again and I can actually watch and you have no idea how nice it is to have normal again. Well, we're getting closer to normal, but I wouldn't say normal yet, but I appreciate the improved amount of normalcy. Okay. I mean, one of my next two cards has to be a land here for us to be really nice. Okay. 
your favorite and mine. Just being here, that's enough for me. Locked out of my second account for- what happened with your second account? Oh, that was nice. That's the kind of world we're looking for, especially when we have a uh, Inferno Titan in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana next turn, possibly. That's pretty good. That's a glory bringer into. A, we're just drawing this glory bringer. I'm not cracking this in any world. <laughs> wow, I, Australia having two no, two days of no new cases is utterly insane. Like, congrats to you guys. That's friggin' amazing. Okay. Oracle on the top. I'm pretty sure that's what drew a forest, right? So they have a forest in hand. I don't understand what they're doing, though, with no plays. It's pretty wild. Uh, a forest, sure. Island, sure. I'll take all the lands off the top from you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, you got it. I have been... Well, I'm actually... I wasn't going to dismember this guy, but now... Or I wasn't going to flame spill it, but now I want to because I want to be able to attack, so... Forked Bolt on top is actually pretty good. Now they're going to play Oracle. Slime. Okay, sure. Every single day... Farseek, huh? Don't like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. So we need one more mana, basically. So we have to Farseek into a land if we want to get rid of this effectively. I think we're just playing Inferno Titan here. See, this is much more like how the games should be going. I haven't looked today. You know what? I don't even... I'm not even concerned. I'm sure we're fine. Elder Gregor Gregor Groth. Thought about giving up. But this card is very big. So now they have slime in hand. I like that before it was far seek, now it's rampant growth. If they want to attack with the Gargaroth, I'll easily block with 7-7. Seven, seven. That is fine with me. Okay. It still doesn't trigger on the Gargaroth. It doesn't, doesn't make Gargaroth 7-7 seven, seven is basically what I'm saying. Sure. Every single day. It's funny how much I love the U.S., the people, the culture that I've encountered that has always been the best, but unless you give me an income over 200k, I just couldn't live there. Yeah, well, I mean... I'm pretty sure we Storm's Wrath here, which kills everything, and then we can Forked Bolt this guy as well, and then that's pretty much lethal, so. Uh, 
Storm the Wrath Hell Drug. <laughs> okay, that'll do. See, now that I've seen... Um... Now that I've seen Great Hinge, I kind of just want Gem Razor in the deck. I think it's probably better than Rod, I guess. I am concerned with the 6-6. Six -six. That guy's really big. I wonder if Roast is better than Jolreal. I mean, we still can get to do Jolreal into Compulsive Electrolyze Euro. I mean, and then we get Karanos to consistently trigger it, but I don't know if that's good enough. This is also a second card that lets us play land off the top of our deck. Which is pretty good. All right, we only have like three cards on two that we really get to play. I would like to, I would like to hit one in my opening hand. Can I do that? The answer was no, but we have a. No, we really need an island here. That's fine. We got Fork Bolt. That's good enough, right? Okay. Chicken is a nice uh, thing. Blue source? No blue source. Blue source? Still no blue source. Okay. Well, next time we do get to play chicken. If we get a blue source, we have two blue sources, which is great for Mystic Snake. That's that's going to be a problem. Sulfur Falls? Sulfur Falls isn't going to play on tab, so it wouldn't be great. That's fine. I mean, I could just block indefinitely with Rekindling Phoenix, right? Really need a blue source here. Come on, blue source. Oh, they want a... Great Henge here. Seems good. Easy block. That's real good. <laughs> they have dismember every game. Cool. Three games in a row. Fucking dismember. That's real fun. Sweet. Yep. Can't get an island with this. Cool. I have literal nothing to play. <sighs> this is why we can't trophy. <laughs> this is why we can't trophy more frequently. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely great. Man, if only we had access to Mystic Snake last turn and we can counter the Great Henge, or, you know, we can play Karanos this turn, or...
I mean, unfortunately, roast doesn't even do anything, so it's not like it, we would have we would have been in better shape if we had a roast here. Like, there's no red-green card in our deck that actually gets us into this, so... Sure. Oh, boy. I mean, I'm just gonna Crater Hoof us this turn, so it doesn't really matter, but... Yep, two lands off the top. Into Crater Hoof. Yep, cool. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys are ever wondering why we can't trophy, this is a great example. Thank you guys for the support. Check out manatraders.com. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. Uh, and nordvpn.org slash franklapore if you want 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free. Those are great ways to support the channel. And uh, hopefully you can use the great services they provide. They're sponsors of the stream. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.